obviously, um, yeah, bring it in, uh, or, uh, not, sorry, kind of excited there, um, what, uh, what are you, what are you doing back here, are you come back to see me here, yeah, this is a, you know, a shoe store, so that probably is also a reason why you're in here, yeah, I can see you're, you're wearing the shoes right now, that's super cool, how they look like they're holding up pretty well, yeah, good job, good job with those, um, are you in here looking for, like, another specific kind of shoe, or just looking around, or anything like that? Yeah, we're kind of dead in here, obviously, you can kind of tell there's nothing here anyways, but, um, yeah, I was just talking to one of my coworkers. Um, so, shoes, right? <laughs> Sorry, um, well, if you can see anything on our shelves that we have left over, you can definitely check those out. We're kind of having a big time sale on shoes right now, obviously, and since there's not a lot of gear, you can get a pretty good deal on them. Oh, so yeah, you've been on our website, you're looking around. Yeah, we do, we do actually uh, customize uh, shoes here, yeah. Yeah, not a lot of people know that you can actually do that uh, on certain websites, you can just customize your brand new own pair of shoes. It is definitely um, more expensive, but I think it's worth it. Yeah, I've done it one time before for someone a while ago, and I think they can give it again. Um, they said what you wanted to do, just customize your own shoes and see how they look. And I mean, if you like them enough, obviously you can, well, you should buy them, because, you know, I obviously, like I said before, make a little bit of a, I want to sell you, so nice. You want to take a look? Yeah, okay, um, let me pull up the computer. Um, there is a tablet you can use on your side of the counter, and we can just sort of figure this out, have some fun, just customize our own shoes, and we can see how they look. Okay, um, you do have to make an account, though, but I'll just sign you into the one you made last time, okay? Awesome. So, we are going to be your email. What was that again? I know you have since it's been quite some time since you've been in here. Okay. And it's at. Okay. And then we're gonna do your phone number. Yeah, you haven't been in here since then. Wow. I was thinking maybe you stuck in here before when, you know, I wasn't working, but I always work. Part of things you can actually pretty much customize. 
wise, everything about the shoe to the color to what actual like textures are used for the um, shoes. So leather or some sort of cloth. Um, you can do like a scaling. It's kind of cool. Um, you can also obviously put on your own shoelaces. You can also uh, stitch on like your own name, a tagline, something along those lines of sort of personalizing your shoes, which is kind of cool. So yeah, so right here at the bottom, you can see down there, you have the inspiration tab, which is basically just, I guess the basic ones that we actually have here in stock already that you can just pre-buy or again, just inspiration you can use. Maybe you can use that ones as a template or so. Um, like these cool look at orange ones or these, there's yellow and blue kind of gives you like a little Batman vibe. Um, or those these green ones that look kind of nice as well. Just some black and gray ones. Okay, yeah, you want to take a look at the, the green ones. Yeah, so now what you can do is sort of just drag your finger around and just take a look at the shoe. What you want to do with it, how it looks for right now. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It just renders like a 3D model of the shoe already. And uh, you can look at the bottoms of them, the sides, the tops, anything like that. So, what did you want to start with? If I could just get my own opinion. Obviously, the most famous part of a Nike shoe is the Nike swish, swish, swish. So I think we should probably think about what color, what texture you want to do with that first. Sort of customize the shoe around that. I think it's a good idea. Um, yeah, you tap it and then you just look for it. So again, like I said, you can sort of look at the different textures. Like right now, the basic one is just the satin textures there as well. Would look pretty okay there. Canvas, pretty cool. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna jump to the leather. Yeah, the leather is kind of like the traditional sort of wear that most Nike shoes have already. So um, you can see how it just looks around with the black and you just go to start scrolling through them, yeah. Um, there's red, obviously a great color that kind of goes with everything. There's blue, there's a really cool baby blue, which could be really popular. Orange could be really nice. And there's also that green color that maybe caught your eye at the beginning that sort of like a pre-made sort of shoe looked um anything you're looking at particularly or okay you want to stick to like a green theme okay yeah that's that's totally fine green is my favorite color so i think it's actually pretty cool that you're making a shoe like that so um well if that's the case and you're just going to be making it in just the green look i highly recommend you sort of start looking for a secondary color now again you could end your shoe journey here and i think this shoe would look fine but you're not really paying for just another plain basic nike shoe in my opinion you're paying for a shoe that you made personally so let's put a little bit of flair a little bit different in this shoe how about that okay well obviously do you just want a green and white shoe or would you want a sort of secondary color to sort of base the shoe around so what you can do actually is just press on like the the, the top of the shoe like the edge yeah right there and now, again, you can sort of just look around. So, again, do you just want, like, a, a black and, and green shoe? Or, again, you can go a little crazy. Do, like, a Christmas theme. Do red and green. You can really be really bold with these ideas. And I think it's really dope that you can do that. Um, pink and green. That's a vibe. Orange and green. You can be, like, a Ninja Turtle. That's kind of that's kind of fire. Yellow and green's a good color. You can do all green. Like, for the tops and the backs. Do something different. Take a look at the baby blue. Okay. Actually looks kind of cool. Yeah, it's it's given like a, like a pastel sort of colorway. I think that actually looks pretty cool. Um, I I I say I say we go with that. I think it looks pretty cool. I will say the pink and green does look really cool. I do wish that green was a little bit more pastel-y to go with that pink. I think that would look really uh probably better with it. But I think with that blue, it looks really cool. That's that's a good find. Good job. Um. Did you want to look how it looked for the other sort of main part of the shoe? Yeah, um, let's do the light blue with this. Okay, uh, yeah, not bad. You're doing a, a pretty good job. Did you want to do it with bottoms? In my opinion, you should probably change them. Um, obviously like a sort of a similar color like that light blue on the bottom. I think that would look really cool. Or you can even do like an, an all white. You can look right there, all white. What do you think about that? All white bottoms. I know white bottom shoes are kind of hard to, to, you know, keep clean, especially if you live somewhere where it rains a lot and muddy everywhere. Black one. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you could 
just keep scrolling through them, it doesn't really matter. You like the light blue how it looked? Actually, the pink does look kind of cool. Keep going with that pastel color white. Now, I think the light blue bottoms, I think, look kind of cool. It still gives you that sort of bright look without it being just white. Maybe a little bit easier to maintain, a little bit easier to clean. I think it actually looks uh, pretty nice. Yeah, holy cow, you're, you're doing a pretty good job. Um, anything else you want to take a look at, like the tongue or the shoelaces? Yeah, the sort of black, sort of back covering is a little dominant in the shoe. You want to try and change that again, you could just sort of like move it around and, and just start messing around with the colors and stuff like that again, like the other one. Yeah, we well, obviously have like a green and blue sort of theme going on, so maybe let's stick to that. Let's try the blue. Yeah, that, um, yeah, no. Um, we should try the green, maybe. Okay, that actually does look pretty good. It goes pretty well together. What do you think? I think it looks really good coming from me as someone who, well, this is only my second time ever doing this, but I think it looks cool. A dude who looks at shoes all day. I think these are pretty nice. I wouldn't be surprised if these were uh, sold on the shelves one day. Yeah, so again, do you want to change, like, the shoelace color or anything like that? Or Yeah, I mean, you can make them, like, you know, black or maybe you want to do, like, a pastel pink. Is that too, too much? I will say that looks pretty cool, but in my opinion, in my opinion, just in my opinion, you don't want to go too over the top with these. In my opinion, maybe just get white shoelaces or black ones, probably white ones, and then you can just buy your own colored shoelaces if you don't like them. So, oh, in my opinion, I think they look really good just white. Yeah, so, what do you think? I think the, the, these might be your shoe. I think they give off a very cool vibe. They're a very light colored uh, shoe that looks like a very nice sort of springtime, summery shoe. Is that sort of like the theme you're going off of? Or, unless, again, like you have an outfit already picked out for something like this. Okay, yeah, okay, good job, good job. I think those are definitely a must-have, so you want to take a look at cleats, right? Okay. Uh, I did pull these up when I was on the computer. Do you think this is like a good base of a shoe for you and your cleats? I don't know what kind of athlete you are, if you're good or not. I don't know if you really know the difference between a, a good cleat and a bad one. Okay, yeah, we can keep this sort of pattern on it. And you want to keep the, the Nike Zoom on the sides, okay? The swoosh looks pretty cool. We'll keep that there. But the color, you, you kind of want to mix it up a little bit, okay? Well, uh, if you want to keep that same pattern, let's, in my opinion, get, yeah, get rid of the neon green. Um, let's see what sort of colorway we can do with this. I mean, obviously, it would be kind of nice to sort of figure out, like, you know, are you going to be using this for, let's say, something like uh, home games, away games. I know that's sort of a thing that a lot of people sort of like to get down first is like, like, like a jersey colorway away or something like that. Okay, so yeah, you have a team jersey, okay. Um, do you, yeah, obviously, you, I would hope you know what color they are. Yeah, okay. Um, I mean, I guess we can just do like a white shoe and do you trust yourself with white shoes on, on the field or? Okay, you play on turf. Okay, yeah, that works. Um, I think that'd be kind of cool. Just like a nice, like sort of basic base, and then sort of make it pop in colorway. Like we already, we already have this really cool sort of webby story design. I think a white would actually look pretty cool and make your shoes pop a lot. And then obviously you sort of match everything else around it, like socks and, and whatnot. I know, don't know how much customization you can really do personally, but I think that'd be kind of cool. What do you think of it so far? I think white is a pretty good base. Do you want to make it all white or you want to just move on to something else? Okay, we can start working on like the, uh, sort of like the graphics of it, you know, like the starry sort of pattern. Right now it looks like it's like a, it's a, it's a pink. 
each shoe differently. So one shoe can be different from the other shoe. So let's say this right shoe right here, you want the Nike Swoosh to be a, a, a different color, which I, I think is super dope. Yeah, you want to keep this, the pattern blue. Okay, we'll keep the pattern sort of going throughout the shoe. I think it's, that's a very safe, good idea. Um, what about the, the left shoe? Yeah, I can see you're already moving over there. You want to make that red or just keep it blue throughout? Okay, that's now actually. Hmm. How about this? Why well, about you make one shoe a red and the other shoe a blue? I think that's actually kind of a cool idea, don't you think? Yeah, so like this left shoe, you make it blue, you make it red, like the Nike swoosh, and then you do the other shoe, and, and you make it blue. I think that could really make it pop a lot. Yeah, you see right there, it, it's like a purple color. Change that to blue now. Yeah. Okay, yeah, now we're, we're really working with something there. Let's get rid of the rest of this neon stuff. So let's make these both, uh, let's see, what looks good here. I think red looks really cool, even with the blue one. So the red collar, is that gonna match well or? Okay, yeah, perfect. Um, Let's get rid of this sort of like outlining here and you wanna make this one on this side red, correct? Yeah. Okay, that looks really cool. Same thing for this side. Let's see if we can, there we go. Make this one blue. Okay. Very, very cool with this little colorway. The, the laces for sure we need to fix as well. Let's see if we can sort of find it here. Are you scrolling? Yeah. Um, the shoelaces. You want to just make them white again, and then we can just, again, you can come back to them just whenever you want to change your own shoelaces. That's a good idea. Good idea. Hey, see, we're, we're thinking alike now. So what, what are you thinking? You're thinking pretty good so far? Yeah, pretty, pretty simple. Process. Um, obviously there's still some neon left to get rid of these bottoms. You're seeing that. Yeah, some bottoms. Um, this is tough. You can actually get these in a couple different type of textures and actually metals. Uh, if you go down there to the chrome, yeah, you can make them actually chrome or, or, or gold. There's some sort of weird rainbowish filter. Do you want that or? Yeah, I'll stick with like a just a, a solid color. Um, man, I mean, this is also. It's a very tough choice. I mean, obviously, these are going to be worn on turf. So it's not like it's going to be a bunch of color getting on these shoes. But in my opinion, you should probably still try to make these as, as safe as possible. Yeah, you can sort of just see how it's going with all the colors. I mean, the black, I think, looks good, especially from on top. It's not like you're going to be showing out the bottom of your feet a whole lot. I mean, I would hope not. <laughs> okay, yeah. And then we also have, like, the little... Uh, sort of actual like cushiony parts of things or the plate I guess is what it's called or the airbag I've never heard of that before either yeah um do you want to keep that sort of the same theming like you want to make it blue I think the blue looks really cool we sort of will match well with it do you want to go red you want to go blue okay yeah we'll go with blue for sure for sure because the colors are red I see what you're doing there anyways I think these are pretty much done what do you think I think these also look pretty well oh is that red yeah it is red okay don't want to make it pink for you that'd be kind of funny I think these are all all done too wow good job here we are with your new cleats I think these look pretty fire obviously a red white and blue a little uniform we got going on there I think this looks pretty well made yeah again I'm sure these colorways are probably sold somewhere if not I think you made yourself a pretty fine looking shoe for your for your first time here and I love the fact that they're different they're so cool very unique I think this is a, a, a great 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 pair of shoes let's put this tablet away um did you want to pay for these or did you just wanted to do that for fun for funsies you know like ooh, spending time with your favorite employee or you want to actually get them are you sure I mean they are yours you made them okay yeah let me uh do this tablet and these are the nike and that 
was fast, wasn't it? Brand new pair. Seems like the box got a little, uh, a little gross due to entry. But hey, that's what happens when you get some sort of uh, express, sort of shipped or made shoes. Let's open these bad boys up and make sure these are even yours. Yeah, these are the, the, the Nike mids. Nice. I was